Okay, Shalom. I want to start giving all praises due to Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shah. And this is a continuation on what was with me on the streets preaching. So I only had a little bit to go before my data, my um, chip ran out. So what I want to do is finish off what we was at. We only had a little bit more to go, so let's finish it off. So we was in Revel I was breaking out Revelation 13 and going into different things, but the main focus point was Revelation 13. Um, 15 on down so now we at 16 um 17 and no and that no man may buy or or sell or save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so you're going to have to be accepted by this government okay and to be accepted by the government which is this new world order that's coming in if you want any kind of um, benefit from them, social service, section A, rap record, a, a record deal, you know what I'm saying? Um, they got this down to a T. It's so tight, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't conform to this new world order, what do you think a new world order means? It means the change. Okay, throw out the old, they'll come in to bring into the new. The new is part of this chip, which is technology. When you watch a movie called Upgrade, Upgrade lets you know that. D damn, these man Nick mans went to to as far as to play as if they were gods. Okay, the gods. They want to sit in the position as Yahawasha. But that's why it's got a it's got a war gotta take place. Because two kingdoms cannot be set up at the same time. One have to be destroyed for the other one to be king. To to, to um to sit on the throne. Okay, so if you don't take this chip, you don't get none of these deities of this earth. That's why the Most High tell us to be of the, use the world, but don't be part of the world. Meaning, don't conform to the things in this world because conforming to these things in the world, it would be, it would be your death. It would be your death. So, and that no man shall buy or say a he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, which is six 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 three score. Okay, so now let's go into that mark. Karagma. Strong's G, 5480. Karagma. Karagma. A stamp, an imprinted mark. A mark stamped on the forehead and the right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist. The mark branded upon horses, things carved, sculpture, graven work of adulterous images, which is part of the system too, is adulterous images. Okay? So a lot of us be wearing certain chains around our neck, different things like that. These are adulter adulterous images. Okay? But the point in there that we're talking about, because that's part of it, what do you do when you brand a horse? You, might, you, you mark your signature on it to show you have control of this. Okay, so now these are the ones that follow the Antichrist wherever he goes, that accept this mark. Then there's ones that don't take the mark. Okay, this is either going to be martyr, and if they are the elect, they're not going to take it, and they're going to be saved, and they're going to be beamed up in these chariots or these ships. Okay, or, okay, AKA UFOs. Okay, so this is the march of who you really belong to. You know how gang members say, "Yo." With that, um, what set you claiming, nigga? So what set are you claiming? What set are you claiming? You're going to either set the set, claim the set on the left-hand side, which is wicked and the evil. Okay, or you're going to set, set um, you're going to, um, set trip on your how about shim, your how about or be, or take this, or how can I say it? Are you going to be part of the set of your how about shim, your how about good versus the evil? So that's why we, I mean, come on, we think about that when we do, when we, when we on the street, what crew did you represent? This is easy, light work. And some of you saying that this is not that and this is not that, it don't matter. This is that. And this is the word. Now it says, of the mark of the stamp of the forehead of the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Do the background check on an all, a, a all, a all, the pierce on the earrings of the ear. So and then you have to come to the door to the hallway of the door to show that you rather be under your master forever, serve servitude. So these this is what these um um elites do. They want to set themselves as prominent gods. 
and to go past the God, past the supreme being God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and his son Yahweh, his son Yahweh Shai. They want to set trip on them. Okay? So that's what's going down who those who take the one. They are the followers and the badge of the followers of the Antichrist, which means part of this system. When you go to Revelations, um, I believe 18 and 19, I mean not Revelations 18, um, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. So let's prove that. And that's one of my favorite scriptures. That's why I don't argue with nobody. Let the scriptures do the talking. Is it there? Um, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 1, I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 29, 28, 28, and 29. And the destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners shall be together. And they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. Okay? For they shall be ashamed of the oaks which you have desired. Okay? Your oaks is the chief that you believe in, the chief people that you believe in. Okay, in desire and shall be confounded of the gardens that they chosen. Yeah, the garden represents those philosophies that they broke, they, they believed in. Those different, um, because the Most High gave us, um, laws. So the gardens is the denominations of churches that niggas is running into. You know what I'm saying? Go back to Revelations. Okay, so it says the mark branded upon horses, even that, because when you mark. The, a horse, you brand them to show that that's yours. You own that. So they want to show these elites that they own you. This is easy work. Okay? Here is the wisdom. Here is the wisdom. Let him have the understanding that count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score and 6. Get that. Because I opened up with Revelations 3, 13 and 2 to show the power structure. These are major arcanas, major events that have to take place for World War III to come in. Because how is World War III going to come in concerning that missiles is a hoax? Or oh, show me three precepts that the missiles in the Bible. Okay? The word missile is not in the Bible, but destruction and arrows and instruments of, of weapons that the Lord will put in man's mind to de make them be delusional to think that they're creating a mass weapon, but it's part of the most high design to bring this into to bring this into um, the, new, the new world order and the, um, also not bring into the new world order, but that's part of it, but to bring into destruction for World War III. So then we can go up to the islands of Jastaphat, those who, who, who's Esau, these, these elite powers, to go against who? Yahweh Shah himself. Yahweh Shah himself. So I just wanted to know, how are they going to have a war? They're going to have a war with spitball fights? Spit, so Put, Put, Putin them. And Trump is going, or whoever the pre next president may be, is going to have a fight. World War Three is going to go by what them wrestling, or World War Three is going to go by them spitting spitballs. No, they got to use weapons to get this mass destruction weapons. This is easy work. Okay. Now let's go into this one. Six hundred and three score. This is Kai Star Stigma. Okay, let's get that. Strong's G 5516. Chi, Chi, Stigma. Chi, Chi, Stigma. Okay, 603 score. The meaning of which is the basis of much vain speculation. Okay, but it's the number of a man. Okay, it's the number of a man. And this is the man that, that rules it with these different powers. So when I gave you Revelations 13 and 2, I gave you the leopard stand for Alexander the Greek, which is now because America is an extension of Rome. So the Greeks say nothing but the Romans today. And the Romans, America is nothing but the Romans today. Okay, that's why we say it's, it's all over again. Okay, then the, um, the Russians is the beer. Okay, 
The B is the Russian, and the Lion is the the, the, the Britain, Great Britain. Okay, three major arcanas. Okay. So um, let me give you Revelation fifteen and two. Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. And then they had gotten the victory over the beast. Who was them that got the... Cause, and this is not a regular um, diadem. This is a diadem. This is a, uh, um, a Saphonis crown over the beast. This is the one that's... This is a spiritual crown. This is what we're supposed to go over. This is what we're supposed to be fighting this fight, find, fight for in this faith. And let's get that to show this is not a regular victory crown. This is the crown that Yahweh is going to give to those who was diligently and pushed this truth. This is a Stephanus. Stephanus. Let's get that real quick. See, this is a Christian that holds fast to their faith, even unto death against the power of their foes and temptation and persecution. That's all you need to know. The same in a regular crown that men wore, like the diadem. The diadem is a regular crown, but even though Yahweh Shah is going to be twofold, because he's going to have all the crowns that he's going to take. He's going to be the, he going to be the ruler of the planet Earth. He's going to be the ruler of everything because his father given that to him. So this is not a diadem crown. This is a victor's crown, which is Stephanus. Okay. And let's go to First Corinthians two fourteen. First Corinthians two. Um, First Corinthians, that's Second Corinthians. I'm bad. My bad. First Corinthians two fourteen. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolish unto him. See, that's why a lot of you don't understand, because like I said before, without a vision, the people perish. This book. It's written in parables, dark sayings for some of you brothers don't get it in understanding. So some of you brothers think that because you've been here three or four years that you got the juice, that you got the knowledge, that you've been sealed in this destruction. OK, but that don't mean nothing because the most high may not even show you that. That is saying that spiritual would understand that it don't have to say M-I-S-S-L-E missiles in the Bible. But he used all the things that shows that he's going to cause this mass destruction, which is World War Three. Because how we get to Armageddon if we don't get through a war, and we're not spitting spitballs to a straw for war. We're not shooting. We're not. We shooting. We're not shooting arrows no more. We have to upgrade, as um, Gabar would say. He said we have to upgrade, and that's what a lot of you niggas haven't done. You haven't upgrade. You still stuck on stupid. Okay, upgrade. We don't use. Um, um, arrows no more. We use missiles would be in the new place of the arrows. We don't use sword no more. The new sword would be what? Okay, or oh, knife. It would be what? A gun. But back then it would be a knife. This is easy work. Okay? Um, Revelation 14, 1 to 4. And then we're going to close with that. Revelation 14, 1 through 4. Get it. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having the Father's name written in their forehead. This is the elect, okay, of Israel, who kept the focus on the focus point on the kingdom that's coming that's going to be on earth, and not the focus point of this filthy world, okay? These are those followers who follow the Mashiach wherever he goes, okay? And this is not the ones that follow the Antichrist. The Antichrist is more than one many. And I had a voice of the heavens, the voice of many waters, and as the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of the harpers harping with their hearts. And they sung a new song before the throne. See, just like we got this new world order and stuff like that, right? And, and people are consistent of trying to take this, be part of this new world order by taking that mark, the RFID chip. And stuff like that. We have a new song that we're singing. And these men that's on here, we understand this tune. 
That's how, Lord willing, we are the elect. We're going to be playing that same spiritual song that we understand. That's why I gave you the scriptures that said spiritual man understand all things. Because we're on that same plateau. We're on that same level. So we understand each other, that song. Okay? And then it says, and, and, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn, no man could learn that song, but the 144,000 which were redeemed, which were redeemed from the earth. What does redeem mean? You know the wind blew, you know the wind, the wind is here, but you can't see it. So you don't see the missiles, you don't think they exist, but you know that they're here because you don't see that word missiles in the Bible. We're redeemed, Agassiz. Let's get that word for you real quick. And check this out. Strong's G59. Agarazzo. 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 Now listen. Remember I told you the Stefano's um, crown? Okay, look. It says... To be in the marketplace to attend in it. We are in the marketplace singing this spiritual song. And the other brothers that's around the world is singing the same tune and the same song. And some of us have never even met each other. But we on one accord. But we're playing that tune. That's the vision. That's the vision. And that's why I say without a vision, do people perish. Okay? I, I, there's a lot of brothers that I haven't met. Okay, or that we haven't met, but we, we we singing this song and we playing it in tune because we understand each other when we meet each other or when we use these scriptures. And I never have to meet them. Okay, to do business there, buy or sell or idle people to haunt the marketplace, lounge there. Yeah, we be hanging in the marketplace on the street. We be lounging there, pushing this gospel under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh We chilling in the corners. Sometimes we say some men stay four hours, some men stay eight hours. But we out there pushing this gospel, lounging on the streets. Like, yo, do you know the kingdom of heaven is at hand on earth? You know you are God chosen people? Telling the people in the marketplace to, in the Agora that walk by. Okay? Now, these are which, okay, verse four. These are they which were not defiled with the woman. Now, this is not talking about really literally a woman. This is talking about their philosophies. Okay? This is talking about uh, of philosophy fees. They didn't get they, 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 they didn't get into tune with the philosophies on the world. That's why I say we are part of this. We could we, we live in this world, but we are no part of this world. This is not talking about a literally a literally woman. Okay, these are which were not defiled with women. For, or which or philosophies? Let's get that so you don't think I'm just saying it, woman, real quick. These are where they were not defiled for women. A woman of any age, whether a virgin or married or a widow, a wife, a betrothed woman. Let's go back. Okay, let's go to the. To the um, etymology. To be made finished. To become made a miracle. To be formed, wrought. To be made finished. A man appearing in the public. So it says, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These, no, 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 I'm sorry. These are they which not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb, brother, whosoever he goes. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh, to, to God, and to the lamb. So you see, this is not talking about literally women. For they were virgins. These are they which were not defiled with women. Okay. And they, this is not talking about like sleeping with just a regular woman. The woman represents these different philosophies and different things that people bring out. They didn't follow them. And it noticed, they, it noticed the scripture said they were virgins. 
Okay, now that can't be just men that's that's, that's on the earth that's not vir that's virgins because there's men that had sex with women and that's married to this day. So that means if you have sex, you can't be a virgin. So it's not talking about that. These are they which were not, which these are they which followed the Lamb with so ever he go, meaning they kept the commandments to the best of their ability. They stand f firm in the marketplace on the Agora and they pushed his word and they on the same tune singing the same song. So that's it. You know what I'm saying? Brother Shema Basar, I wanted to finish this off, what I had on the streets, and I hope you was edified. Shalom.